Welcome to Treetop Windmills prototype of the Man Smart Drive. Uses a uh, trailer drum hub setup with a stator system, washing, pe washing uh, machine type stator system. Been rewired but has multiple rewiring systems. And then I've run down into this uh, very elaborate box with, uh, we've had some trouble with this motor making so much power that it pops these grid ties and uh, one's a low voltage from 8 volts to 25 and then the one above it where it's got the face showing open goes from 18 to 60. We're going to see if we can carry it up as we bring the RPMs up on it. This motor is set for 100 RPM. This motor has almost no cogging at all. So here we go. And uh, see what we got. Takes it for a minute to catch up on it, and as you can see, the voltage is right there. It's uh, move this wire out now, clicking it on. Now we're good. What it does is it shuts itself off, clicks it back on. Everything's working. The lights are flashing crossing and I'm going to bring you over to the wall meter and we're going to see what kind of watts are being pumped in to the wall through this maze of extension cords. I use a Lennox blade and turning 100 RPM for me with my blade setup, modified blade setup, is roughly 10 miles an hour. So just at the 10 mile an hour under I'm making power and uh, I can improve that tremendously. So I'm going to go ahead and up our speed and we're going to see what happens. Now I've checked, changed the belts to 400 RPMs and I'm going to see what happens. And we're going to keep an eye on it. And now she's making some power. This is when something's going to go wrong. I get this whole feeling. 50 something. Going to come back on. She is. I had a question about that other grid tray. But we'll find out. Now let's see what we got going back into the wall. Okay, one amp and 112 watts. We're pushing the amps are going up into the wall. I mean, this is going right into the wall. But you kind of wonder about that. Right in there. So, we're stabilizing the watts, but we're catching more amps. You know, I'll have to do a little math to see what's going on. And you can definitely hear the motors howling away here. So it's really working its uh, brains out here. So uh, if I were to disarm this and let it freewheel, we'll give that a shot. As you can see, the grid tie did not survive the experiment. But... I am still pumping it in to the other grid tie. Let's see if the other, we have what we have for voltages. Okay, there's a problem, okay? One of those grid ties, the smaller one, was shorting out inside. This is at 400 RPM on 220, 1.7 amps and over almost 200 watts getting pumped back into it. So, yep, there we go. There's, a, there's some reasoning there on what's going on. So, uh, I had a bad grid tie, which both of them had popped. And uh, the low voltage one, you just can't take it. So, uh, I do have a programmable one coming, so I got a real good feeling that this is gonna make some serious power here. Yeah, this is serious power anyway, so. Uh, my 
Uh, wind turbine can push this speed, no problem. Bob Mann, Treetop Windmills. Talk to you later. Bye.